Close your legs to marry me and hooker. Close your legs to marry me. Close your legs to marry me and trash box. What's up, my friend? I love sisters, Fina D, coming to you all from Vina Tina News. In the world, mm -hmm. I'm already out here a uh, husband stealer, and this is too much. And ain't nobody out here stealing husbands, are they? I, I would never. There's too many going around, honey. It's a lot of single people out here. Last night, I saw a lot of single people in the building mm -hmm. last night. So, um, I don't think it's nobody want to steal nobody else's problems. I can tell you that, honey. <laughs> 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 Nobody wants to be in nobody else's problems, man. You already know. I told you that's going to be her intro going forward. Uh, we take a shot. Take a shot. Do my video. Okay. Do my, my video. My, my man is a free man. <laughs> uh, we take a shot. Take a shot. Do my video. Okay. Do my, my video. My, my man is a free man. <laughs> he wrote, today is a special day for me. Hashtag I'm blessed. Hashtag free. Hashtag peaceful, hashtag grateful, hashtag thank you. The next response, divorced, question mark, he responded, finally. Left all that in to say, even though he's divorced. When the whole situation started, he was married. So that intro is going to stay as Nene Leak's intro. Because it didn't matter what Kim or anybody else had to say about their situation she said as long as someone is legally married you should close your legs to them and she didn't do that but anyways all of that aside and behind us let's get into this topic um you were asking me about yeah yeah so you're you're now dating um i want to ask you this because i want to use this to clear the air a lot of people have said one of your famous lines is close your legs to marry men yes. and people say you ended up opening your legs up to one how do you feel about that that people said you were dating a man who was married? Um, I was dating a man who was legally married, going through a divorce. Like Kim and Big Papa? Uh, I don't think Big Papa went through a divorce. Oh. Yanni is divorced today as we sit here together. He is a divorced single man. And I don't think Big Papa have ever been divorced. In fact, he's back with his wife. I just saw him in Miami. At the same time. Hi, Kim and Lee. Is his wife named Kim? Kimberly. Mm -hmm. Big Papa's wife name is Kim. Yes. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You cannot. Kimberly. <laughs> well, that was easy to remember. I said they always move the goalpost to fit their narrative. Regardless, he was married when you met him. And that's all that matters because that's what you used to say. Don't try to make all of these excuses now. And I did a video on his divorce and I left that part in any intro. And I left one comment of him confirming it. Based on the way how she was talking in that interview and confirming that they're no longer together, Nini is just at the point where she's like, look, I'm sick and tired of pretending like I'm living this lavish lifestyle and I have this man that is rich and just, you know what I'm saying, helping me elevate. I'm at the space where I have access to people. I have access to people with money and I need someone that can match my fly or make more than me. That's what she said. So I'm not about to keep running around here just to say, I have a man. What are you bringing to the table? I have to start looking out for myself. And that's what the interview sounded like. She did her best to not trash him and to not call him broke. But she basically called him broke in other words without saying the word broke, just the way how she described the whole situation. And then she brought up John which I'm going to do a separate video on because she said that he contacted her to help send her son Bryson to rehab. Praying for Bryson. I have a separate video coming up on that. But then she said with laughter behind it, maybe I'm going to have to take him on a date or something for that to happen. And then she talked about how even though she and John, you know, relationship didn't go to that level because Greg will always be her one and true love and that she will never meet anyone 
you know, to love her the way how Greg loved her. And may his soul rest in peace. But he took her shopping and she could get whatever and do whatever. And if she had people with her, they were allowed to buy whatever and do whatever. And she just had a great time with him. And it was just money and material things driven and focused. So if that's what she's looking for, then hey, go ahead and go on that date with John. She also said that at this point, she's just dating and having fun. And she's very sure that she would meet someone to spend the rest of her life with. But as far as expecting to meet someone to share the type of love that she shared with Greg, she's not going to meet that person. Nene did try to clean it up a little bit by saying, you know, she and her ex, you know, the married men, they were not seeing eye to eye. And, you know, they have things to work on and communication and all of that. She also said that she loved him, but she doesn't think she was ever in love with him. Carlos also brought up about there being only one star in a relationship. And Nene said, and knowing her ex there's going to be two stars in the relationship, okay? Because he loves the spotlight. Carlos asked her if she thought that he was using her for fame or just using her, you know, period in general. And basically, she said yes without saying yes, okay? You know, she said, oh, I want to say that. But and then Carlos was like, as far as, you know, taking pictures and basically wanting to be in the limelight. And she was like, you know, basically, but he did not back down. And the difference is Greg did. And so, yeah, she just had so much to say. So when she was posting all of those things about, you know, a narcissist and all of that, I mean, like she is, she was talking about herself and him. But you know, Nene, she's delusional. She would blame everybody and point fingers at everybody, then take accountability for her own actions in something. I'm sure I'm missing other little parts of the interview, but this part of the interview, I really want to speak on. But let's allow Nene to come in here because she did post some things in her Instagram story. After she's done talking, I will come in and add my commentary. Just remember this part of the interview. So let me talk about it quickly before I allow Nene to come in here and talk. She did thank her ex for coming in her life, even though he came in her life very shortly after her husband passed. She said that no, she did not meet him when her husband was alive but that she's grateful for him because she doesn't think that she would have been able to get through, you know, those beginning stages of grief and that he was able to keep her busy and take her mind off the grief. Well, honey, you need to grieve. You need to have that moment. You need to have that space. I completely understand it being painful. You not wanting to be reminded constantly, the tears, the heartbreak and all of that. But you need to have that moment or else you would keep jumping from situation to situation and from things to things, okay? Because I know Carlos was being respectful and that's why he did not bring up the guy that dragged Tamar. But Nini was also seeing another young man while seeing her ex. Because that young man wrote, Since MFs want to leak my ish and run false headlines, might as well share the truth. Last few months been amazing and eye-opening. Nothing but love for you, Lanitia, and I wish you the best. Last few months. But then claims that she started dating or met, you know, her ex a month or so after her husband passed away. That comes back to my whole point of grieving and healing. Because even though it's not public and we didn't see it, it doesn't mean these two were the only Men and Nene is an adult. I'm not over here judging her. Do you think she's a grown woman? But you do have to grieve and have your moment. And you can't tell people how to grieve. So if her grieving process is going from a relationship to a relationship or just having fun and dating, then hey, I wish Nene the best. Nene did address a segment of the interview on Instagram. So let's let her talk about it. And then I'm going to come in with my commentary. Okay, hey guys. Okay. So, I'm obviously laying out at the pool, but um, part one of my interview dropped with Carlos. I want to get emotional. I just want to say uh, I have received a lot of emails and emails uh, supporting me, supporting Carlos, supporting the interview. Thank all of you guys who are out there supporting my dating life. I think it's hilarious. 
but it's you know I think it's funny I think it's hilarious um, Carlos and I talking about I never had a whole phase um, <laughs> I never had an opportunity to be a whore because I've been in relationship after relationship um, so I think it's hilarious that anybody would think I need to have a whole phase I mean I never had it whatever <laughs> But uh, thank you guys for supporting my dating life. Uh, all of you guys who are sending opportunities to me, thank you guys so much. Uh, part two of the interview drops, uh, uh, I think it's next Tuesday, August 1st at 9 a.m. If you haven't seen the interview, check it out. I'll put the link here on this video. Uh, I also put my email for you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, I love you. Now, why would anyone expect Nene to admit to something that she was projecting on another black woman, Kenya Moore? Of course she's not going to, okay? Before Greg passed away, Nene was allegedly dating this guy and Greg, and he was allegedly Nene's side piece because she felt like, well, Greg, you want to play? I can play too. Allegedly, Greg cheated on her again with a lady that worked at one of their stores, okay? Allegedly, not the one in Duluth, but the one, well, both of them are closed down now. And so Nene felt like, okay, if you want to go over here and have a side piece, I can have a side piece too. And the both of them even explored an open relationship. And they were about to have a storyline on the Real Housewives of Atlanta about that allegedly. But then later on decided against it and to not expose their marriage, you know, and their children to a storyline like that. She did an interview and based on everything she said in that interview, she was setting up their storyline okay and then they basically like i said decided against it but yet she wants to talk about someone else creating fake storylines on this show watch the last video if you missed it so allegedly greg was married when nini got with him you know his daughter confirmed it on twitter we've heard about it she also said that nini blacklisted them from being on the show because she was afraid that they were going to expose the truth about how their father got with Nini and how that affected them and all of that. So while she's screaming, blacklisted, you know, and talking about being blackballed, his daughter was like, well, that's what you get for doing the same thing to our family. So that was that. And Greg's daughter only tweeted this when reports came out that Nini was dating another married man. So she tweeted, so was my dad Greg when she met him, but I digress, okay? That married man who is now divorced is now Nene Leak's ex, okay? So that was that. Nene is a grown woman. She can do whatever she wants to do. So no one is shaming or judging Nene. I'm just saying, girl, you did have that phase, okay? So stop the lies. Since you want us to believe that you don't do fake storylines and you want us to believe the whole situation with John was you know real and the truth so let's go ahead and throw john in there then so it was your husband the both of you were working on your storyline for your own spin-off so y'all did the whole divorce thing and all of that as if that wasn't a fixed storyline but hey nene said she doesn't do fixed storylines so let's stay focused so it was your husband then it was john okay then allegedly because your husband allegedly cheated on you again and had a side piece you decided to go and have your side piece as well while still being with your husband. And the both of you were exploring an open relationship, but decided last minute to cancel that storyline. Like I said previously, so it's your husband. It's John. Then it's your husband again. Then it's this guy. Then shortly after your husband passed away, you're with this young man. And then with your boyfriend, who is now your ex. So who knows the others that we did not get to see on camera and all of that so you did have that face and that moment so girl stop lying embrace it it's all good you are a grown woman no judgment here just stop projecting but also that story that she was allegedly dating the nfl player that milo was also miserable milo was also dating and then she denied it and said look i hosted a charity event 
you know, for him, and that was it. We're not dating. Wasn't it alleged that Milo was a dated John? Did they? I guess sharing is caring. What an interesting friendship. Those of you who forgot the whole cheating again situation, Yes, Nene talking about when Greg was sick and she had to be there for him. And she was basically asking him, well, where is she? Where's the woman you cheated with? Why is she not here taking care of you? Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. okay. Everybody has an opinion. That's okay. We get it. But yeah. the people who were truly walking in those shoes, they understood how difficult it was to be a caretaker. They understood the, the mood swings that Greg had because he was doing chemo, the different medications that he was having. They understood the things that I was going through because I did not have the husband that I was used to having. They understood mm. all of it. So I wasn't the first person to ever go through that. Greg would be yelling at me and I would be yelling at him. We were going yeah. through all kinds of things. And then people didn't understand the place that I was in as a wife because we were going through marital problems before he was yeah. diagnosed with cancer. So mm -hmm. there were people who did not, they didn't know that, you know, yeah. but we talked about it on the show. So you have to also think as a human, as a woman, I was taking care of somebody who I felt had wronged me and yeah. I was having a difficult time trying to figure out how to take care of a sick person who I felt had wronged me before he even knew he was sick. So I was like, how am I going to help this sick, this sick man who I felt had already wronged me? Now I got to take care of him. And I was, I was, I was often looking at him like, now, why she ain't taking care of you? Right. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on, Nene. But that's what we love about you, that the realness. Because all of us would have been like, hold up. Yeah. Now, now you want to come, now you want to come on back on the video. Yeah. Why are you over here for me to help you? Right. I was always looking at him. Right. Like, Let's be and real. he was looking back at me like I was crazy. And I was yeah. like, what's wrong with and then he and he would always Greg is really smart. So he would always throw stuff back on me later on and be like, it was the medication. <laughs> and then I would be like, <laughs> oh, it was the medication? <laughs> so, you know, be like, you know, I had cancer. You yeah, know I had cancer. You know I had cancer. <laughs> and you know what? And then I couldn't fight him on that because people would be looking at me crazy like, you know he got cancer. Right. You know he got cancer. <laughs> Now, how am I going to fight cancer? Right. I, I couldn't fight the whole cancer society. Right, right. That cancer card, that cancer card right. is like a black card. Oh, baby, he will pull the cancer card on me every five minutes. We could be anywhere and Greg will pull a cancer card on me in a minute. I'd be like, Lord Jesus, I'm oh. stuck watch the entire interview if you are interested for those of you who missed it a while ago by clicking the second link in the description below the first link will take you to my members only please subscribe and thank all of you for supporting my members only and subscribing i have my house tour behind the scenes and other videos on there and now we'll be back with more current events i promise Thank you all for supporting my members only. And let me also quickly clarify this. I am aware that there are some divorces that takes 150 years, case in point, Kenya Moore. Okay? Absolutely. Move on with your life and live, especially if there's no reconciliation that's going to happen. And the other person is just simply being a jerk and refusing to sign. I agree with that. I'm only speaking from Nene Leak's knowledge. She said out of her own mouth, it doesn't matter if there's a separation going on, as long as the person is legally married, you should close your legs to marry men. And Nene did not do that, and now she's making excuses. That's all I'm saying. Simply stop being a hypocrite. That's it. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Us. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.